Welcome to a video on how to get a job in Australia and we're going to go through five tips on how to get a job in Australia. So most likely you have the working holiday visa subclass 417. Today we're just going to go over the first year and like getting random jobs because what's probably happened here is you flew into Australia and you want to get a job but things are a little different here. You are, you don't have a house, you don't have money, you don't have food like a lot of backpackers are and you're trying to figure out how to get a job because in your home country you know people, you can kind of weasel your way into a job and you're going to be there forever. Now you have to compete with people who have full availability, who are staying here forever. So the thing is, how do you compete with that when you have to say to every single employer, hey I can only stay for six months? And the trick is being better than everyone else. So I have a notepad here. And I kind of wrote down the things that kind of helped me. The first section is going to be stop being a bum. A lot of people come into Australia and they're just bums. Like when I talk about bums, I don't mean homeless. I mean you just have like a bum mindset, you have a loser mindset. Get rid of that bum mindset. From now on you're going to be a winner. And how to start being a winner. Number one, find a place to live. If you're really short of money, you can do work for accommodation. To do work for accommodation, you have to figure out who makes or who's hiring for work for accommodation. Go on hostelworld.com, search up the city you're looking for, and write down every single phone number of hostels that you want to go to. Cold call every single one. About 50% of them will be uh, will assist you like pretty help, helpfully and nicely actually um, on work for accommodation. Most of them, about 50%, do work for accommodation. Okay, once you settle that down, all you have to pay for is food, you can start from here on out. The next thing is going to be dress, okay? So before, if you're in your home country, stop packing right now. You need to think about what you're going to wear for dress. Instead of bringing like some casual clothes and bringing some dress clothes, bring both in the same thing. So for example, I pack light, maybe a few t-shirts, one pair of pants type of thing. So what type of pants did I bring? I brought black jeans, okay? Meaning they go with brown shoes, they go with black shoes, they go with any type of shoes you want, and then you throw a black t-shirt on there, literally just a $5 black t-shirt, yet you look banger. $5 t-shirt, $10 pants, and some shoes, looks pretty, looks pretty fashionable, like you can get a job like that. Like, you know, what is this shit? You know, they're great for running, not for getting a job. Oh, Tristan, but they're black, can't I wear them with my black dress shoes? No, you can't. You need, when you come to Australia, buy some dress shoes, trust me. You might as well spend $60 on dress shoes and get a job in a week versus save the $60 and then don't work for like a month and then you're just screwed financially. Think about it. The next thing on not being a bum is having a non-bum resume. So many people have resumes or CVs that are just bum-like. You're not even trying to stand out. Like what? what is, what is this font? It's, it's like your name's this big. Number one, have a huge banner. Put some graphics on the banner. Look dope. It, a lot of people don't want to read your resume. Maybe they'll just read the banner and realize that you're already pretty dope. You know, like it's not it's not rocket science. Hey Ben, how do you like your job? Oh, I love it. How much you make? Fifteen hundred a week. Ah, oh, fantastic. Let's see your resume. We got Ben's resume here. I got rid of this stuff so you can't see it. But look at that. It's it's a winning it's a winning banner. Okay, education's here, and we got work experience. Okay, instead of just being like, oh. I've worked at a cafe. You know what it says? It says flavor connoisseur. This guy apparently created innovative new flavors for our beverages. He was a I flavor didn't... inventor. Or at least that's what he told employees. It was kind of true though. Yeah. It, flavor it's... connoisseur was a bit of a fancy name for it, but I think it was pretty good. You want to help the business with their business. Okay, so, so you need to make sure that they know that you're coming in there and you're gonna help them. You're gonna make them more money. You're not just a guy to step in for six months. No one fucking wants that, to be honest. No one gives a shit. A lot of people say, hey, we're not hiring. We're not hiring. No, that's wrong. Everybody's hiring for the right people. If you walk in there and you're a winner and you're not a bum and you're super smiley and you're, hey, what's up? How's it going? Yeah, my name's Tristan. I'm from Canada. I'm so excited to be here. Are there any vacancies in, in your position? Uh, yeah, I don't know, like uh, Maurice is actually going on vacation, so I mean, we might meet, uh, have someone step in if you're the right candidate. Oh, cool, for sure, yeah, I've done a lot of like cafe work back at home. Make sure you stand out. The things that you want to add that are bringing value to the employer are going to be things that other Melbourne or other Australians can add, right? So, yes, you're leaving in six months, state that up front, be honest about it, but say, willing to start immediately. 
which is going to be true because you are you don't have any work here. Willing to work for six months without interruption because you're trying to save money, I'm assuming. Um, full availability day or night. Only in Melbourne for six months with open availability. Available to start immediately. Please remember that a lot of these jobs aren't career moves, okay? They're like pretty small jobs. So the people you're competing with are other people your age, between the 20s and the 30s. And you have a huge advantage, okay? A lot of these people are going to university. Uh, they have a lot of things on the go. They're living at home, blah, blah. You're probably living in the city. You're probably living in the city. You don't go into school or whatever. So there's a huge chance that an employer is going to want you instead because you got like open availability and you got like a whole bunch of information from your country and whatnot. So keep that in mind. You have strengths. Don't forget it. So the last thing is go to everyone. Remember how I talked about cold calling, work for accommodation? Do the same thing for Gumtree. Go on Gumtree, put all the ads on a Word document with all the ones you like and call every single one. Go out into the street, not for an hour, not with your fucking friends that you met at a hostel, okay? If you meet friends, oh, we should go look for jobs sometimes. No, screw that. They're a bunch of bums. Do it yourself. What you want to do is you want to go outside, go to every single, pop into every single bloody shop and give them the resume. Now, you don't want to be that type of guy who brings a lot of resumes in one folder. Um, but you, okay, first of all, you need this. This, th you need a folder. You don't just hand out a resume, okay? You want it in this, so you can open this and you can give them the resume, okay? This looks professional. This is a winner's house. Win, 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 win. Buy one of these. You put your resume in there. You put the rest of your resumes in your backpack or your sh sh satchel or whatever. So when you open this, you have one resume that you give to them and you tell them how much you like their company. Oh, uh, what do you want to... Apply at Hype Beast shoes. Oh, because I really like your company. I love shoes. I love Hype uh, Yeezys and whatnot. You open up this thing. You give them the one resume that you think they think that you just came there just for them because you like them so much, and then you get the job because you're super interested in it. That's what you do. You don't have 20 resumes and like they're dollar bills. Your resume is not a dollar bill. Your dollar, your resume is worth a hundred thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars. I don't give a shit. It's worth a lot of money. Don't treat it like it's a dollar bill. Next thing, what type of jobs you want to get? Okay, you can look at cafe jobs, you can look at construction, you can get your white card. Get your FDA if you want to work in uh, the bar industry. FDA is your federal distribution of alcohol or something like that. I don't have it, I don't need it. Um, you can look for retail. Retail is, like the, retail is known as the cream of the crop for those backpackers. Not that hard. Go to the city, apply for everything, be the boss. Next thing, um, there's a lot of things that you want to think of. Fundraising, that's how I got my first job. Put some money, put some meat on the table. Fundraising, they go out in the street, they try to raise money for Greenpeace or Child Fund or whatever. Don't get the ones that only pay you commission because it's extremely hard. Just go for the ones that pay you a flat rate and a little bit of commission. Those are going to be the ones that are better for you. Another thing, the thing Ben's doing, removals. Um, so when people move out, they need their furniture into a truck, move to the next place, do that. There's a lot of removal places, a lot of construction places that you can get. Girls. Now. I don't want to be sexist here, girls, if you want to haul up a refrigerator up 14 stairs, by all means, do that. But what I've seen from being in Australia, y'all have way better luck in the hospitality industry. Another website you can check out is MLKA Job Hunting or something like that. I'll put the link in the description. Basically, that's a job for remote areas. Um, like, if you want to go in the middle of nowhere, just work at a gas station. You can also work in hospitality. You can look at Facebook groups. So Gabby got a job in nannying. <laughs> in Facebook. Girls, you can find. <laughs> Girls, you can find. A job like a babysitter and care.com. I think that's time to end it. So conclusion, number one, don't be a bum. What does that entail? Dressing well, working for accommodation, getting off the street and having a good resume. Number two, be a winner. Be a boss at your interview. Tell them everything that's good about you and what, why you're better than every other Australian. And the last thing, apply everywhere you can. That's it. See you guys later. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the whatever, all the buttons, the Instagram buttons. And I'll see you in the next video. I feel good.